making of project is always a excited part for the team of coding hall we as a team is motivated to present you the best project out there and your responses acts as a booster for us so for today let me introduce you the bus management system with a fresh and new idea it will be a level 2 project that will cover some of the concepts of c++ like object and class inheritance file handling and many more so basically this project was aimed to skip the paperwork of a bus traveling agency so what we are waiting for let's get started hi my name is amritesh and you are watching coding hall Before starting the video, we like to thank Aditya Bus Traveling and Services who were very cooperative with us regarding the whole project process. Let's start talking about the functionalities of the project. This project basically has two panel: admin panel as well as the user panel. We will test all the panels in this video only. So let's start with the admin panel. In admin panel, you can add the bus. adding the bus will be just like filling the form and giving some of the details of the buses second you can search your bus you can search your bus by applying some of the filters third you can view all your bus in your depot or in your traveling agency it will be a list view type where you can see all your buses in the list view fourth one you can update your bus like if you want to update your fare or if you want to update your route or if you want to update number of seat in your bus number of seat will be decreased when any person books the ticket from the user panel that is the some of the cool functionalities we have added in this bus management system but this is not over yet in this admin panel you can see all the book tickets in a in a list view also also you can see the total revenue generated by booking the ticket that is the best part of the project to skip the paperwork and regular calculation done by the management of the bus system so this fourth fifth and sixth functionality is the best functionality of this project so that's all for the admin panel let's start with the user panel user panel has a very simple interface with the two options like search bus and view your, view your bookings in search bus you can apply some of the filters to search your best bus to travel from a distance to another distance that distance will be also displayed when you search the bus and after you get a proper bus you can book a ticket through the options given and you can book your ticket and it will be also just like filling a form you need to fill up your form and after that the e ticket will be generated by the by the program or the by the project so we are also planning to add some of the more features in this project so you may get the part 2 of this project also so if you are waiting for part 2 what we have to do you have to subscribe that coding hall channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update on so i know you will be very excited to hands on this project or you will be very excited to get the source code of this project so for the source code you need to check out the description box in description box you will get a mail id instagram id or the two whatsapp numbers you can just uh, dm us anywhere you want it and we will be providing you the source code so what you are waiting for let's get to heaven and see the practical demonstration of all the functionalities added to the bus management system that will be explained by the heaven in the next part of the video so let's see thank you amritesh for the wonderful introduction now i'm on my computer screen and this is level 1 program and this is the bus management system for a specific bus depot for a special city and it has two panel user panel and admin panel now let me run the program i will explain you all the functionality one by one here it comes with amazing graphics interface now let me first show you all the functionalities of admin panel so i am pressing option 1 admin here we have seven options we can add bus we can view all bus we can search bus we can update bus we can view total bookings 
and we can view total revenue as well as we can go to main menu so now let me show you first option add bus i'm adding a new bus and bus id is suppose 105 i'm entering bus number bus number is mp04 rt and 7654 suppose and a starting destination is bhopal and from bhopal it will go to delhi from bhopal to delhi we are just uh, running a bus and starting time is suppose starting time is 7 am in the morning and i'm entering a starting time and uh, 7 pm it will it will reach delhi so in 12 hours it will take to reach delhi and distance of delhi to bhopal is suppose around 1500 km it will be and bus fare i'm taking uh, 1250.6 rupees and number of seats 60 seats this bus has and now successfully added bus now let me show you option to view all bus in view all bus function you can view all buses which coding halt bus depot has and we have five buses from bhopal to indore we have from bhopal to jabalpur we have bus from bhopal to pune we have from bhopal to ahmedabad we have and we have the last bus which we have added just now bhopal to delhi and timing is 7 am to 7 pm and fare is 1250 rupees and 60 seats are available of this bus now let me press enter and uh, i will show you third function search bus by entering bus id you can search your bus so what we just added we just added 105 and you can search the you can see the bus information of 105 bus id that is 105 from bhopal to delhi it will go and starting time is 7 am ending time is reaching time is 7 pm and distance it will cover 1500 and fare and number of seat it will show you all the details now let me show you option 4 update bus if you want to update any bus that uh, number of seats you want to increase or fare you want to increase so this functionality is for that so i am entering 105 because from bhopal to delhi i want to increase fare now let me press option 8 because i want to increase fare and enter the updated fare of bus i am keeping it 1500 rupees 1500.6 rupees i am keeping fare fare is floating value so you can keep it floating as well as the integer value also and 1500.6 i am pressing data is successfully updated now let me show you by option 2 and here you can see that the fare has updated previously fare was 1250 rupees but now fare is 1500.6 rupees now let me show you by updating one more data also that suppose 105 i want to change the timing of the bus so i want to just uh, change the timing of the bus so uh, starting time i want to change from 5 am it will move so i am pressing option 6 starting time and it is asking me enter new starting time of the bus so i am entering 5 am from 5 am the bus will move, uh, move from bhopal bus depot so i'm pressing enter and it is saying uh, it is saying data is successfully updated now let me show you option 2 and you can see that the time has updated now bus will move at 5 am and it will reach delhi at 7 pm now let me show you option 5 view total bookings and it is showing the data previously we have added previously amritesh has booked a ticket so that's why it is showing the amritesh data and one more person sachin is there sachin has booked a ticket so it is showing sachin data also and you can see that it is second data so it is printing data 2 and previously it was printing data 1 because it has one data now let me press enter and we will we will again make the same menu now we can view total revenue because if the person will book the book ticket from your bus depot so you will be generating a revenue so you we can just view that revenue that total revenue generated till today is 1481 rupees which is of two tickets amritesh and sachin took two tickets now we will update that and we will add more tickets after that we will again see that revenue has increased or not now let me press option 7 i will go to main menu and i will show you user panel activities now so so i'm pressing option 2 user panel so if you are coming at bus depot what you can do you can search bus that i want to uh, go at this timing or i want to go uh, by this route so you can search bus on these specific options uh, let me press option 1 and search bus and you can 
uh, search bus by three ways bus id you can search by bus route you can search and by bus timing you can search so suppose i want to search by route from bhopal to pune i want to search so it is asking me a starting destination from bhopal enter ending destination pune we have bus from bhopal to pune and bus id is 103 from bhopal to pune it will move and starting time is 7 pm from 7 pm it will move from bhopal and do you want to book ticket it is asking me do you surely want to book a ticket so yes i want that's why i'm pressing option one and it will ask me basic uh, details for generating ticket so enter your name i'm entering my name that is a month Sahu. i'm entering and age is 19 gender male and uh, address bhopal as well as contact detail 929481 this is my whatsapp number also to get the source code you can dm us me on this whatsapp number i will provide you the zip file of source code and uh, get the source code and try to understand each and every line what we have done is this program now it is showing me message con congrats you got a ticket and uh, I will view my ticket that uh, my ticket is there or not. So I'm pressing option two. That data one is Amritesh and data two is of Sachin, which we have previously seen. Now data three is of mine data. Uh, Heman Sahu. I'm going from Bhopal to Pune and uh, uh, starting time, ending time. It is showing me all the details. Now let me press enter. And uh, I will show you again by booking one more ticket. Now option. Three, I will uh, now I will show you option three search by time search by time I'm pressing option three and I want to know that uh, at 5 a.m. Uh, I have reached the bus depot so I want to see that at 5 a.m. bus is available or not so I'm entering 5 a.m. so it is showing me that yes one bus is available at 5 a.m. and uh, it will move from Bhopal to Indore and at 8 a.m. it will reach Indore so it is showing me by timing also that uh, at 5 am we have only bu one bus and it is moving from Bhopal to Indore and I don't want to book tickets that's why I'm pressing 0 and again I'm redirect to main menu and uh, suppose I'm pressing option 3 and we will see that that revenue has increased or not so let me show you option 6 that total revenue generated 27 3, 1 rupees revenue has increased because previously it was around 1400 rupees and now it is 2731.5 rupees so we have done this much of programming that from user panel the data will reflect to admin panel and from admin panel the data will be reflected to user panel so if you like the program then surely you will hit the like button and uh, because it motivates us to move, make more project on these kinds of uh, uh, topics and we have uh, many projects you can visit our channel as well as if you like the video please subscribe channel coding halt thanks for the program then please uh, let us comment and uh, please do comment also on which topic you want codes or program for your school or college project we will surely make the project on that topic and uh, we will be happy that you are uh, showing interest in our content so please comment which on which topic you want next project and in which language because we have projects from java also we have, we have project from python and c c++ all the language we have so uh, please comment which topic you want and uh, in which language you do you want the project thank you